Seacrest renovation is where you completely eradicate the existing turf and replace it with something better. Maybe a better cultivar of the grass you currently have, maybe a different grass, maybe you go from bluegrass to tall fescue, or you go from um, you know, fescue to fine fescue. There's a lot of op operations. There's a lot of things you can do to change or completely renovate your turf just to make it better. But one of the most important things is what do you choose and what kind of criteria you use to choose the right grass. When you go to the box store or you go to the garden store, there'll be a plethora of bags of seed with lots of information on them. You should be reading close what's in that bag because some things like annual ryegrass, which is what it says, an annual is in there to get a jump start on the turf, but it's not gonna be perennial. It's not gonna last year to year. Sometimes that's labeled as Italian ryegrass, but that's still annual ryegrass. Sometimes in Nebraska, there'll have be bags that have a lot of f fine fescues, true fine fescues. The true fine fescues, unfortunately, um, don't do well, especially in full sun in Nebraska. So you want to avoid those mixes that have that kind of, those kind of grasses in them. So to meet those ends, we set up a trial at our research plots on campus where we took 10, 12, commonly available at local garden store seed mixes. And we're not gonna pick on the people that manufacture or um, make these available. What we are going to do is show you by species why some do better than others. We had a spring seeding and we had a fall seeding. We, we split the plots in half and sprayed them with mesotrione, which based on previous work on this in this show, we've shown is a really good Fertile, it's really good herbicide to use when you're seeding because it doesn't harm the desirable turf grasses. So let's take a look at that trial. What we found out when we put all this data together is that any of the mixes, and you'll notice that we didn't mention the mixes by name. We're not bad mouthing the companies. We're just saying it's up to you as the consumer to make the decision on what's in the bag, right? We know that anything that had annual ryegrass in it did not look good six months to a year after we planted it because it, it died. And we also put them through a drought response where we didn't irrigate for 21 days during an extremely dry period. And that ryegrass didn't survive. The ones that had tall fescue or the ones that had bluegrass in them as the predominant species did quite well. So at the end of the day, we can say all of the things in the bag, the most important things are choosing that species either Kentucky bluegrass or tall fescue or a combination of those two species and avoiding the other species that might be in the bag. So choose a mix that's more of a mono stand by species or maybe a dual stand, but avoid anything that has annual ryegrass.